Ladies and gentlemen, it's profile time. This week's profile is again in association with kitbag.com. And we've got one of those AC Milan players. It's Alessandro Nesta. Hey, oh, beautiful. Legend. legend. How about that? Born on the 19th of March, 1976. Nine years after the summer of love. Oh, after that summer. Uh, indeed, he's, uh, he looks set to leave uh, Serie A, but he will go down as... Damn it all, one of Italy's greatest defenders. Nesta and Maldini in the Dean Wonders Hall of Fame. Yeah. Mm, solid. Oof. Yeah. Well, and, uh, and Baresi and Shirea. <laughs> they can guard the safe, because no one's getting past them. <laughs> it's like the 2003 Champions League all over again. <laughs> Nesta and Maldini there together. I mean, is that safe to say, one of Italy's best defenders? Oh, yes. definitely. I mean, and I think he, they've uh, had a lot. I think he's a, a little in the shadow of Maldini as well, purely mm. because Maldini was such a legend and such a one club man. But Nesta's, a, you know, in, in his time there, was as, impo as important. Who'd win a, a handsome off? Oh, definitely Maldini but what I would say yeah. is that he is one of the most accomplished and controlled slide tacklers of the ball mm. yeah he absolutely. Spent, it's a bit embarrassing isn't it because <laughs> <laughs> He spent most of his time. Remember when he, he said one of? Yeah. A <laughs> couple of a little, little while ago when he took out uh, Messi, and Messi oh. couldn't believe it, and he was stamp, he was slamming yeah. his hands on the floor, going, "What? What is happening? People here? don't do this to me." <laughs> <laughs> this didn't used to happen. I think <laughs> that's when he knew, wasn't it? That's it. Yeah. That's it. Um, he is from the capital of Italy, which is Rome, and was originally scouted by Rome at a very young age, of course, um, of nine, uh, with the youth teams and whatnot. But his father is a Lazio fan, and he turned out. Rooms off, and he's like, No, nope, I love that. You're going to be playing for Lazio, son. Yeah. And my goodness, did he? Uh, I'd yes. rather you didn't play for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather I and the nine year old yesterday going, Well, can I have a say in it? <laughs> Suppressing your talent. Yeah. Um, I'd for, rather break your legs. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, uh, an offer from Lazio came and he joined their youth setup. And he played through the ranks at the club for eight years until 1993 when he was called up for the first team. Um, when he first started playing for Lazio, they were one of the top teams in Italy, boasting the, the names like Di Matteo, Boxic, Signori, and Gascoigne. And Did, I think, didn't he break Gascoigne's leg? Is that him? Involved in the incident. Yeah, yeah. I think that's when he first came to sort of uh, yeah, prominence, wasn't it? It was. Um, uh, I, I don't know, I've not seen the incident. Well, it was a training ground incident, wasn't it? It was yeah. a training ground yeah. incident, yeah. I'm pretty sure Nesta was involved. Was it, it was definitely involved, right, yeah. Because okay, yeah. my memories of that time are so hazy, I always think that when Gaza was recovering from that broken leg, he wore a face mask. Uh, <laughs> it. That was, that was yes. Yeah, so. And, and a pair of comedy fake breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking like the Swedish chef in the Muppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, With uh, Chris Evans. Uh, yeah, by, constantly by his side. Uh, he was, Nesta was showing early signs of becoming an excellent player. In, and in 1996, he went to the European Under-21 Championships with Italy. Along with uh, other uh, people that would turn out to be marvellous players as well. Buffon, Cannavaro, Panucci, Totti. Yeah, no, and they won the tournament. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they beat in England. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and, um, he did go to Euro '96, but didn't didn't feature. I mean, even in that back line, you were Buffon in goal, Cannavaro and um, Nesta at the back, and Panucci in there as well. <laughs> Great stuff, isn't it? Not bad, is it? Uh, he would feature at um, World Cup '98, playing in Italy's group games, uh, but he got injured and didn't play in the knockouts, which would be a recurring theme for Nesta at World Cups. He'd, he'd always get injured. In the, yeah. the one thing that's held that's stopped him becoming like an undisputed great mm. uh, all time great you know is, is the injury problem yeah, mm. yeah. but uh, back at Lazio he had become club captain that was in 97 at the age of 21 mm. uh, and was very much enjoying life in Serie A this is the great Lazio sort of Cragnotti era they had, they had I mean you know Mancini Vieri Crespo Veron just the name Sven <laughs> Sven knew what he was doing Sven was just rolling around in his, in his pants in his lira in piles of lira <laughs> just going get out bring me Veron <laughs> and they won the league yeah. they won the league sensationally well Cragnotti is um, I mean I've got to be careful dancing around the legal issue but Cragnotti is in a lot of legal trouble at the moment yeah um, I think is, you dance well. Is Syria, <laughs> is Syria Foods Empire might mm. come all crashing down around yeah. there? But they, they were chucking money at everyone then. Well, they, but they won. A, they did win win some trophies and, and silverware. You know, they won the Cup Winners' Cup. I think the last ever one at Villa Park. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I think that's yeah. right. Yeah. They won the league Nedved as well. Two thousand. They won. The, sorry, Nedved scored. He did. Yeah, Vieri and, and Nedved scored in the final. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, mm. uh, the <laughs> the Coppa Italia. They also won as well. He scored the winner against Milan in the final. Uh, funnily enough uh, he was now one of the best defenders in Italy and um, therefore the world yeah. therefore the world well he was voted best defender in Italy in 2000 01, 02, 03 
just, and then he sort of well someone else is telling directly he just rung up and said I don't want to be considered for this anymore it's getting, <laughs> it's getting embarrassing well the first time perhaps most of us really saw him was at Euro 2000 when, when Italy was so close to winning, winning the championships um, uh, they were brilliant in that tournament often uh, deployed in a back three always part in, 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 for Italy he was always partnered with Cannavaro yeah. uh, Juliano do you remember Juliano yeah sort of, sort of curly Mark hair, Juliano yeah. uh, Maldini back there Zambrotta providing Juliano uh, played for Juventus didn't he yeah he did I think yeah. um, Zambrotta Maldini Cannavaro and him Jesus Nesta, Nesta <laughs> Buffon Can- behind you Nesta and Cannavaro for me a beautiful set about partnership yeah. it's just yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. clean yeah. shorts yeah yeah, oh, big time because yeah. <laughs> Cannavaro is very small as well whereas Nesta's a bit Taller. Yeah. Just a lovely little complimentary combo. Are they, are they were out and wouldn't have had a chance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they, they were. They, as I say, they were brilliant in that tournament. And one of the best uh, typical Italian displays in, in recent memory for me was against Holland in the semis. Now Holland were one of the favourites. It was them and France. Mm. It was standard. They were making the final. They were the two standout teams. And uh, the, uh, Holland were at home, of course, and they played Italy in the semis. And Zambrotta was sent off only after about half an hour. Mm. And uh, it was Nesta that gave away a penalty as well. But Toldo, who was um, imperious in that mm. tournament, when he came in, I think, for an injury to Buffon, or mm. was it um, Peruzzi, would it have been back then? But anyway, certainly Toldo came in and he saved it. And then uh, a magnificent display, defensive display ensued. And, and Nesta. It was like Italy decided when they had their person off, they just looked around and put right. Nil nil then. <laughs> yeah, it's be yeah, that's it. This yeah. is what we do. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Holland it was actually executed perfectly. It's a yeah. masterclass. Yeah. Well, Holland actually missed another penalty. Yeah. I think Cliver hit the post. And then, of course, they were edged out by France in the final. Um, but back in Serie A, of course, as I say, he was getting all the awards uh, and whatnot. Uh, and then Lazio fell into financial trouble and were forced to sell off some of their, their big players. And he was one of them. And the fans, the Lazio fans, gave him a lot of unfair criticism for that, for moving to Milan in 2002, because they saw their captain and hero moving to one of their big rivals. And mm. it wasn't Nesta's choice, it has to be stressed. He didn't want to leave the club. Uh, but Lazio, they're offered 31 million euros for him and they needed the money. And mm. actually, Nesta didn't know too much about that because he said he remembered uh, arriving, he was at training and um, all the players were called in and said, right, we need to get rid of some of you. He was handed the phone and, 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 and basically told, accept this decision, It's the club needs to. And he, and he just had to say yes to... To Milan, you know. Um, How do personal terms work in that sort of well, situation? Well, well, got, yeah. well, you got to accept this, or you are screwing your club. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Well, he said he was. I was handed the phone and told that I should agree to the transfer because Lazio needed money. I was given no time to get my things, and I ran to catch the plane to Milan. That's crazy, wow. isn't yeah. it? That is. I mean, that yeah. was. I remember when get David, a cab. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember when David Luiz went to Chelsea. You know, he, it was a similar thing. He was on the training ground. David yeah, he went to the training ground one minute and then he was off to London. You know, incredible. Paul Lynch told Paul, for him. Paul Lynch told a story about um, when he was went to Inter. Apparently, he was on the golf course with Ryan Giggs, <clears throat> and uh, he got a phone call from Alex Ferguson. He's like, "It's a bit weird, doesn't we ring me?" Just said, "We've accepted an offer for Inter. They're coming around your house, so get yourself back there." And he sat in the kitchen with um, representatives from Inter, mm. and it was just done. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's I mean, especially isn't it? if you're moving to another country, basically <laughs> yeah. being made to, to just change your lifestyle so massively. Yeah. Well, Ince says. Your Paul Ince. Ince, <laughs> yeah. Well, Ince says after that. Ince, I don't know how true it is, but Ince says after that that actually when he got used to the idea of going to Italy he's really looking forward to it and, he, and he's often said that he really enjoyed his time in Italy yeah. mm. um, but he said before he had done a deal and signed it Ferguson actually rang him back and said oh, we've changed our mind oh my and goodness. he said no well no I'm doing it now I'm not, I'm not changing wow. I'm going back on it yeah. so, and, and that's why he actually went through because I'm um, the boss well he got yeah. slagged like, off the big time Charlie as well but, <laughs> but a, lot of, a lot of time with players I mean, obviously they're very well looked after and they get paid well and they get the best care and this sort of thing but a lot of time you could probably feel like you're a bit of a piece of meat being pushed around mm. traffic you know? almost you know, yeah, especially the, before the, the, the boss yeah. And stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah, indeed. Well, he, and he remembered arriving there because they had a kind of presentation of him at the club, and he and he said uh, at one point I turned around to see Hernan Crespo. They'd sold him to Inter. You know, <laughs> the former team. What are you doing it? All oh, right, we're rivals now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely incredible. <laughs> uh, but being the professional he is, uh, he got on with things at Milan and had a fantastic time there too. In his first season, they won the Champions League, beating Juventus in the final. Scored his pen, didn't he? As well. He scored his pen. Him and Maldini at the back were superb. Yeah, yeah just like was... him turning up the turn around, going right. Why don't we slide? Either? <laughs> yeah. Wee! The season they won the, the Champions League in 2003, mm. um, that, the best result they had that I can remember was that they beat Deportivo 4 0 at Deportivo. 
and Maldini and Nesta play centre back together. Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Clean sheet arama. Well, that's it. I mean, he was. Clean he, sheets were their business. But he, <laughs> but he was from that cut of of, of incredible, like world class Italian defender yeah. like your Baresi's and chiselled from Italian marble. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. And Defensive as a, marble. As a um, as an honourable mensch, because he's um, he's on his way as well. That game, um, Super Pippo scored a hat trick. Mm. Was that right? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was almost one of those players, Nesta, where you were as pleased to see him on the team sheet as you would, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah Seedorf yeah. or, or yeah. Baggio, one yeah. of these sort of players. Yeah. You think, oh, brilliant, he's playing, you yeah. Know. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and like we were saying earlier, you know, he, he very seldom does he resort to sort of your last gasp tackles, but but when he does, you know, he certainly makes sure. Mm. Um, and he was back at the Champions League final again against Liverpool in 2005 where he was on the losing team but they got their revenge in 2007 him and Maldini again uh, at the back uh, was superb 2006 World Cup he partnered Cannavaro yet again in the oh, centre of yeah. defence remember 2-0 against Ghana brilliant yeah. game and then uh, he got injured in the group stages uh, and didn't feature in any of the knockout stages which happened in 98 and 2002 which well, we, we well, missed he, out he, I remember him playing against Ghana they won they mm. drew against the US and he got injured early on didn't he in the last Czech game Republic. against Czech Republic he yeah, missed yeah. out against Korea in uh, 2002 uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He always got injured at World Cups. And <laughs> yeah, it's such a shame. Uh, uh, Matarazzi film. They were fine in that career game. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, <laughs> the, Ma- the Matrix came in, in 2006, Ma- though. We all know what happened after that. Game World Champions, Jim. Yeah. Indeed. You know? yeah. I remember. Um, despite offers for him um, to go to, uh, from the managers to go to Euro 08 and World Cup 2010, he quit international football due to injuries. Amassed 77 caps for, for Italy. Uh, and then uh, Milan he just went on to win uh, lots of other things uh, world club champions in 2007 scored in the final against Boca Juniors but the last few years of his time at Milan were dogged with injuries it, it's um, a shame to say although he did make big contributions to their season in 2009 when, when Maldini retired he was offered, offered the captain's armband but he turned it down because he promised the Lazio fans he would never captain another side Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. I can remember him getting injured quite late on a couple of years ago with a back injury, and everyone thought he was back, finished. Mm. Yeah, back injuries were a real. A and he break. came back. He's actually played a, a reasonable amount of times this season. Yeah, he's done okay, but his time had finished, I yeah. think. Mm. You know, and, and, he, and he knew that, of course. But uh, yeah, 2010, 2011, uh, him and Thiago Silva at the back. Yeah, uh, great partnership. Um, well, they've got they've got him, Silva, mm. uh, Yepes, and Mexes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Silva's different class. Yeah, he's playing alongside. Yeah. Tell you what, the athleticism and, and defensive mindedness of, of, of a young Thiago, youngish Thiago Silva next to the With old Nesta. Nesta, that's brilliant. Mm. Yeah, that's that like master and apprentice. That <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> well, they won the league in 2010, 2011. I, I mean, very close this season. Yeah, yeah. very close indeed. It almost, you know, with um, Nesta and Maldini, almost because you know you had Baresi and Maldini. Yeah. And, you know, Maldini would have learnt so much of Baresi. You wonder if it's kind of the same with Nesta and Maldini as well. I know the age difference not as dramatic. Mm. Passing the baton yeah, down. It's yeah. certainly there's like a relay effect. You can probably amazing trace amazing yeah. defenders. Trace it all the way back. Mm. Um, and, and of course, he's uh, he's now finished playing with Milan. But it was only a month or two ago that Andrea Pirlo was trying to talk Nesta into coming to Juventus. Cool. I mean, that's how highly rated he still is. Yeah. But he, you know, he said, "Look, come on." enough's enough stop being silly yeah exactly <laughs> my back hurts <laughs> exactly um, uh, and, and, and the final words we'll leave to Milan uh, director Umberto uh, Gandini who, who tweeted Nesta leaves AC Milan after 10 years of successful and brilliant service what a person what a player and in he comes the team went down all of fame 240 characters well used <laughs> <laughs> take note Barton <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and as Marcus at the top of the, uh, the profile the Dean with us Hall of Fame at the moment is sponsored by kitbag.com so get yourself over to kitbag.com for all your football shirt needs